Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're taking a look at Reggie Drago V-Star, which was a brand new V-Star Pokemon that was just revealed and this is going to be coming out in Silver Tempest. Really, really powerful new V-Star Pokemon that allows you to copy attacks in your Driscoll Pal, which is one of my favorite effects of all time in the game. I was a really big fan of Mewtwo Mew with Welder, and this is this deck is basically Mewtwo Mew with Welder, um, and it's really, really cool, and I'm really excited to get into this. So let's take a look at the Rage Drago V-Star. It has one attack and one V-Star power that is an ability. Um, the attack is really, really good. Um, it's called Dr Draconic Vision, and it for two grass and a fire energy, it allows you to choose one of your dragon Pokemon in, disc in your discard pile and one of their attacks, and you can just use it as this attack. So any dragon Pokemon in your discard pile, even its basic evolved V, VMAX, V-Star, does not matter. You can copy with the Draconic Vision, and you don't need the energy to do it, um, which means that just for three energy, you can copy, in theory, a dragon attack that costs five energy, which is really, really strong, allows you to attack with even like stage two Pokemon. Really, really good, and there's a lot of options we have. The best ones are going to be Giratina V-Star, Garchomp V, um, but we'd also do have a couple other ones as well. Um, so we're playing four copies of this, and then the V-Star power, which is Star Legacy, you discard the top seven cards of your deck, and then you get to choose any two cards in your discard pile and return them in your hand. And the cool thing is that they do not have to be the card that you discarded with the V-Star power. They can be any two cards you want. So you can just discard seven and just take back two of the first cards you play during the game if you want those back. Like, it doesn't have to be what you milled with the Star Legacy. It can be anything, which is really, really cool for consistency early game and late game. You can just get back up boss with this in theory, which is really, really cool. Um, it's just a really solid card. I really like the ability that just the versatility that this card has, being able to copy Dragon Pokemon, which is really, really cool. A bunch of options for that. But first, before we get into those options, we have to talk about the V, which is not bad. Um, it does have a couple, I guess, technically usable attacks. Um, the first one, Celestial War, discard the top few cards of your deck, and attach any number of energy you find there to the Pokemon. So it's fine, not that great, but it's fine. Um, then we have um, Dragon Laser, which is for the same cost as the Beast's attack for double grass and a fire, dealing 130 damage. And this attack also does 30 damage snipe to one of your points bench Pokemon, which isn't bad if you're copying with the V-Star power. Like 130, you'll get a kill on Comfy, um, Mew, Sobble, Ray, Greninja, which is really, really, really nice to have that. Um, so really, really solid. Uh, and now we're getting to the Pokemon that we can actually copy. Best one I think is going to be Giratina V-Star. Um, because it just has a super powerful lost impact, dealing 280 damage, one-shotting any V-Star in the game, um, and then you have to loss into energy from your Pokemon. And when you have Gardenia's Vigor, which is a mode of, um, the mode of energy acceleration we're going to be playing in this deck um, to accelerate energy, it's not hard to constantly get a bunch of energy in play um, to lost impact. And usually we're going to be using lost impact a couple of times because we don't slowly rely on it like a Giratina Comfy deck. Um, Instead, um, we have other attacks we can use, so we don't have to use Lost Impact three times. We, we can only use it once or twice. Um, now, it is undeniably an insanely broken attack, you know, 280 for three energy. It's really, really good, um, but we don't always have to use it, um, especially when we have to Lost Impact energies and get rid of them, which is, might be kind of bad, if, cause, especially because we only have so many energy in the stack. And the second Dragon Pokemon we have this two copies of is Garchomp V, and the only reason that we're really playing Two copies of this is because it has free retreat. And the reason that it's good to have free retreat is because Gardenia's Vigor only accelerates grass energy onto your bench Pokemon. So if you have a Pokemon that not only um, has free retreat to pivot in and out of with the Gardenia, but also has a really, really good attack too. Um, the attack cost doesn't matter because we're just going to be copying it with the Ready Drago. Um, um, it's the Sonic Strike dealing 220 damage to any Pokemon that you want on your opponent's side of the board, and you have to discard three energy, three energy from this Pokemon. But you, once again, when you have Gardenia to just re that energy, um, it's not going to be that hard um, to just go turn two, Sonic Strike, KO anything unless your opponent has a Manaphy. Um, that's the only really thing that's keeping this Garchomp V in check is going to be Manaphy. Um, but if your opponent doesn't have a Manaphy in play, being able to 220 snipe anything is insanely good. Um, it, it really reminds me of the Venom Shot and the Ganon LGX, which did see play in the Mewtwo Mew deck as well, which is cool. Um, yeah, so this attack is just so good, and having free retreat uh, for our Gardenia is really, really good, and that's why we're going to be playing two of them. Um, the second attack is, like, okay. It's uh, 120 um, and with no drawbacks, so it's, like, okay, but usually if we have um, 
we're going to be wanting to use something else to just do raw damage, no drawbacks, and that one's going to be Hisui and Gudra V-Star, which we have one copy of. Um, Hisui and Gudra has the rolling iron attack, dealing 200 damage. Um, during the, your next turn, this Pokemon takes 80 less damage. So when we're copying this with our Regidrigo, it means that our Regidrigo V-Star is actually going to have um, 360 HP, which is nuts. And almost nothing will be able to get through that. Kiram B-Master will be able to get through it. Mew is going to have a little bit difficult of time getting through that. Um, other than that, though, if you use Rolling Iron, it's highly unlikely that you're going to be knocked out. So if you just, like, turn two, use Rolling Iron, um, like, say, for example, your opponent has a Manaphy on the bench, and so you can't use it as a Garchomp to snipe, um, you can just use Rolling Iron instead, knock out, like, like a Comfy, your opponent's active for one prize, and it's impossible um, for you to get knocked out almost, uh, which allows you to just, the next turn, the lost impact, whatever your opponent puts up, which is really, really cool. This card is really, really good in here. And then the last um, V Pokemon we're playing to, to copy is going to be Derout on VMAX. Um, now, we can't actually get value of the ability here because we don't have Derout on V, but we do have VMAX Pulverization, which does a clean 220. Um, the, once again, the attack cost is relevant because we're, like, we're, we're going to be copying it with um, Rage Drago. Um, but it goes through all effects, which allows you to go through Mill Tanks, um, things like that that might be preventing damage. Uh, and also, Chris clean 220 with no drawbacks is really, really good because um, then we don't have to discard our energy to knock out. Um, our opponent's V if it's active with the Guard Chomper, we don't have to lost on them. With the Giratina, we can just do bang 220 with the Duraldon, just get that out of the way, which is really cool. We have a couple one of Pokemon, or sorry, um, single, single price Pokemon that are one ofs. First of all, we have Dragonite, and we're not playing any of the evolutions because we're just getting this into the Scar Power to copy with our Ranger Drago. Um, but it has an insane powerful attack, the Energy Hurricane, dealing 180 damage. And you can just search your deck for three basic energy and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. So this is basically Training Nova. It's like literally just a better Training Nova. So not only um, does your um, deck have access to one shotting things with your team, but you also have access to Training Nova to get energy in play. Which is insanely good. It allows you to set up a completely new Rage Drago. Um, and if your Rage Drago that actually use the Energy Hurricane... Um, that turn doesn't get knocked out. You just have some energy you played. It's just a lot lost impact with. So Dragonite is really, really good. Um, getting a bunch more energy in play. So you don't have to totally rely on that Gardena all the time, which is really, really nice. The final Pokemon we have to copy is going to be one copy of Zygarde. Um, and I'm not surprised if you don't know what this card does, but it has the Judgment Surge that deals 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each prize card they've taken. So if they've taken four prizes, you're going to be sniping 160, um, which isn't bad. Um, and the only reason that we have this when we already have the guard time because it actually doesn't discard the energy so we just need to like snipe something two times you can do that um with the zygar it's very best it's sniping 200 um which is not bad you know it's not a bad snipe but it's usually 200 isn't usually gonna be, be getting the job done it can't snipe crowbat so mainly we're just using this to set up damage to take knockouts on things maybe with rolling iron or something like that uh, like even if your opponent takes two prices you're sniping 80 which is still not bad um so then you can just like set up something for a rolling iron knockout later um, with another one. So that's pretty cool. Um, Zygarde, really, really good. Then we have one copy of Orangaroo. Um, so we're sing setting things on top of our decks. Like say we have an attacker in our hand and we haven't used Reggie to go's V-Star power yet. Um, we can just stack that attacker on top of the deck, discard it with the V-Star power. And there we go. We have access to that attack now, which is really, really nice. It's also just a nice consistency booster as well. Um, one card extra thing. Then two copies of Crobat V. Um, for our like consistency basic Pokemon, two copies of Crobat V um, to um, draw cards, and then we also have two copies of Luminion V to also um, draw some cards. Um, those are the two like best basic support Pokemon in the game. Um, so we're gonna be playing two of each of them because we need to be able to find our Gardenias, which is the only reason we're playing the two Luminion instead of one. Um, the Crobat is really really nice because we don't actually have that many. Um, draw supporters in this deck. The only draw supporter we have is going to be four copies of Bagardinia's Vigor, um, which says um, draw two cards and then accelerate two grass energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. Um, so this is we're going to be using to set up our Reggie Drago. Um, and the fact that this is low draw power doesn't really matter because we have Crobat to draw, we have our Reggie Drago V Star power to get more into the deck and find the cards we need. So um, it's not going to be totally horrible the fact that we um, um, that this Gardenia only does draw two. Um, but it also provides your energy acceleration as well, so that's going to be pretty, pretty good. Two copies of Boss's Orders, because we have to play Boss's Orders. Like, sometimes, like I said, you can't always snipe with the guard chop. Sometimes your opponents can have mana if you play. Um, so you still need to have access to boss. You can, like, boss lost impact things, things like that. The last supporter, one copy of Roxanne um, for a little bit of comeback, because, you know, having a comeback um, in your deck is super, super nice. It can give you a lot of interesting plays that you can make. 
for our item cards, four quick balls to search out our basics. You know, we have a lot of basics in this deck. Um, the two crowbats, two crowbats, two Luminion, Guru, Zygarde, and then of course our um, Gar Thompson, four Red Drago. Um, so four copies is a quick ball, but also a quick ball, as well as Ultra Ball, this, this card is cards, which is going to be really important um, for getting our attackers in the discard pile for our Red Dragos. So that's why we have these, um, to consistently be able to discard those Pokemon we want to be able to attack with. Um, and then we also have three copies of Switch, of Switch, because um, sometimes you don't start Garchomp, and being able to switch into Garchomp is going to be nice, as well as being able to switch out of Red Drago, um, V-Star, things like that. Two copies of energy retrieval because the three energy discard from the guard chop is pretty steep. Um, being able to energy retrieval those energy back is going to be super nice. Obviously, you can't energy retrieval the lost impact because those, those energies do go to the lost zone, but having that option to um, get them back from the guard chop is really, really nice. It just really puts an ease on our energy resources in the deck. Um, also, um, if we just have this energy retrieval in our hand and we use the V Star power and we discard a couple energies, um, we, don't have to be, we don't have to take those off, the, off of the uh, V Star power. Um, because we just have retrieval to get those out. So we just leave those in the discard pile, take the other two cards we want, and then just retrieve those two energies that you discarded with the V-Star power, which is really, really nice. And then you, of course, have more energy in your hand to Gardenia with, so it's nice. Energy retrieval, really, really nice for the Garchomp, as well as to be able to consistently use Gardenia's Vigor. One copy of Ordinary Rod for a bit of Pokemon Recovery, as well as Energy Recovery alongside the Ordinary Rods. One copy of Air Balloon, because switching is good. So we basically have store four switch outs, a combination with our free retreat. Garchomp should be enough to give us pivots with Gardenia. And then one copy of Choice Belt, because um, Choice Belt does a lot of these stuff. Numbers like now Rolling Iron can KO Vs, which is nice. Um, things like that. You can KO Mew Max with Lost Impact. Um, then Stadiums. We have three copies of um, Storing Mountains um, to be able to find our Red Dragon V consistently. This felt really, really nice in combination with the Quick Balls. So we can actually save those Quick Balls to discard attackers instead of. Um, or we can save those Quick Balls to discard attackers and to find attackers out of our deck. Um, so instead, we just have Storm Mountains to find our basics, or at least our basic Red Drago, and also get the Garchomp out. So if you just have a switch in your hand and you want to use one for, or draw one more card with um, Crobat, we can just Storm Mountains out the Garchomp, switch into it, and then the Crobat for one additional card. Or one, or sorry, one copy of Training Court um, for even more energy coverage, because like I said, like, Garchomp just carrying three energy is pretty steep. We want to be able to have access to um, Gardenia consistently as much as possible. So having the V-Star power, the energy like or the energy retrieval, Training Court should be um, satisfactory in that. Then for energy, um, we are playing four basics um, fire energy, um, and then eight basic grass energy. Um, and that is going to be the Raichu Jago V-Star list. Um, I'm super excited for this deck. Um, Silver Tempest is honestly looking pretty cool, like Lugia. Looks super promising. Ready Lucky V Max looks really promising. I have a list for that coming up as well. Um, there's just a lot of cool um, cards coming in the set that I can't wait to play. And um, this one's felt really, really nice. Um, and this is Ready Drago. If Dragon Pokemon do continue in the Scarlet and Violet block, um, which I do have a theory on that, I have a theory that they will not continue because if they were to print this card now and continue Dragons and print even more Dragons, that would be crazy. Um, but um, if Dragons do continue, Reggie Rago V-Star gets even better because it has even more options to copy with. And that's the thing that I love about Mewtwo is just all the options. Right now, the options are a little bit um, lackluster, I think. There's, like, a lot of them just do damage with an effect. I want to see more, like, tricky things that you can try and play in here. Because, um, you know, right, right now that we don't have too many Dragon Pokemon, Dragon Pokemon, Dragon Pokemon have only been around for, like, like, six sets, including this one. Um, so that's like not too many, um, six sets worth of Dragon Pokemon, you know, we, so we, we do have a surprisingly decent amount of Dragon Pokemon, considering that we only have had them for six sets, um, so that's, you know, wherever you want to see that, that's cool, but if Dragons do continue, this deck is much better, but yeah, that's gonna do it for the video, guys, if you guys liked it, don't, don't forget to leave a like, if you guys want to see more like this, don't forget to subscribe, I do videos like this all the time, yep, that's gonna do it, hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.